Hello Capricorn and welcome to your monthly reading. This is for Capricorn. If this resonates with you Capricorn, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all Capricorn, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. This will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Let's see, okay. All right. Well, that's beautiful. Um, so what you're dealing with is uh, someone that is very uh, strong. Okay, uh, we got the Emperor coming towards you. They've got it going on, Capricorn. All right, they got it going on. I feel like a conversation is needed in regards to commitment and where this thing is going. So it's like the big conversation. Anyway, um, before we dive too deep into the uh, love situation, I do want to say this. I will be looking at career um and we'll touch base on that and then after all of that we will pull you an oracle card to see what message the universe has for you so wish fulfillment you want what you want what you want this person um i feel like you're there's going to be a conversation in regards to what we want what we want to do here how we want to move, how are we going to elevate the situation. Uh, it's a huge decision. Um, so do we make it official? Do we elevate to moving in together? Do we elevate into being exclusive in a, in a commitment here? Um, do we decide to make it legal, um, get married, that kind of a thing? So the conversation needs to take place and um, you're, you're not going to settle for less than what elevation in the relationship um, that you want. So not it comes here. You want what you want. And I feel like this person is, you know, they're used to being in power and control. It's You can't, you know, get a good read on them. So, and it's like, uh, you know, what, what do they want? I, can't, I, I literally cannot read your mind over here, so we're going to have to talk about this. Nine of Cups. So, I feel like you are afraid to move in this direction. Like, you're not going to, if you have this conversation with this person, it's not going to go well, right? And maybe you've already tried to have the conversation with this person and you felt mm, you felt hurt by what they said. I feel like if that's the case, they're, they're going to humble themselves because this is moving forward into a serious commitment here. The outcome is the Two of Cups. This person tries to be strong. They've been hurt before. You've been hurt before. And, you know, there's a lot of guarded energy, very protective of... Uh, your emotional space they are extremely protective of their emotional space of their heart right so it's it's like the the biggest decision that you could make in regards to a relationship one of the biggest decisions of your life is to move forward and solidify a situation and have that conversation it's not easy three of swords here so you want things to be balanced. You want them to feel the way that you feel. You're starting to feel a little taken advantage of because they aren't 
in the mindset of advancing the situation, at least you don't think so. So a conversation is needed to kind of get a grasp on how each other is feeling. Like they would just keep it the way it is forever and that's not going to set well with you. That's not very balanced for you, you know. So six of pentacles here. So, um, you're afraid that you're going to get hurt in this process, but it's like you, you need to know. It's like, what do you want conversation? This is what I want. What do you want? You're going to have to express it. And there's, you know, you know that there's a, a huge chance that uh, you're going to get hurt here, but it's like, Everything's standing still, nothing's moving, very guarded energy. Where is this thing going? So this is very much an all, right? This is the all. Let's elevate this. Let's get on the same page here or nothing. Let's end it. So this is the make or break conversation. Ten of Swords here. So judgment day is here what are we doing right are we moving in together is that i mean are we elevating are we committing fully is there going to be a celebration is there going to be a wedding? what what are we doing what do you want i feel this is this is where we're going with this here so i feel like this is the question and i feel like you're going to get the appropriate answer all right so that's nice but the conversation needs that they can't read your mind either you can't get a good glimpse in what they're feeling they can't read your mind either okay ace of swords so a very open and honest all or nothing conversation this is it this is the big one all right ace of swords here queen of swords energy this is in the past position you could be dealing with an air sign male or female dominant libra energy here by the way so you know you've been through it queen of swords energy is well experienced in love um very intelligent i feel like you're growing cold towards this individual if they can't kind of get on your same page in in how you want to advance the relationship so you're at that point of i will cut you off and move on if you can't if we can't figure this out if there can't be forward movement if you can't let me get a glimpse of what is in your heart and what you're wanting to do here, the chariot, there needs to be movement one way or another, with or without you type of feeling. You could be dealing with a cancer or somebody with cancer in their chart. So in essence, you are taking control. Chariot is our life and you are like, here we are. You know, you're steering this. Um, so you're, you're definitely, even though this person likes control and they're cool, calm and collected, they got it going on. I'm, I'm just going to jump here, right? They're not very expressive with their emotions. What's crowning this reading is somebody really holding back. You know, it's the miser of the tarot being very protective of their heart. Not a very emotional person. You could be dealing with an Aries, by the way. And here, you want some mallets here. You want to know that they care enough to advance the situation with you and they take things seriously and they, they care. Right? So I feel like you're, it's, <laughs> there's going to be a conversation. Um, they may take a moment to think about things, but they, it's, it's going to humble them. It, it's it's you know it's humbling them i feel like you're going to first like come at them with love and care let's have this conversation um they may have to think about it because they know that it's it's almost like they feel like they're losing control they lose control with you um because they there is love here for you it just, they just have a really hard time of 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 expressing that 
and telling you, okay, let's let's take it let's take it to the next step. Let's take it all the way. It's a huge decision. You could be dealing with a Libra or somebody with Libra in their chart, and it's an all or nothing conversation here. Give me give me balance, or I'm going to cut you off with that sword. Give me balance with these scales here, or I'm going to cut you off with this sword. I feel like it's going to go in a good direction. You may not think it at first, but like I said, they're they're going to humble. It's like they're they're going to become vulnerable and not such a, you know, hardcore energy. So, this will be balanced. This this is going to be um a meeting of the minds, a meeting of the hearts, a meeting of your soul. It's your soulmate. It's a soulmate situation. But it's like you're starting to feel like strung along, so this conversation needs to happen. Two of Cups, please, for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? So it's like you've been waiting for them to make some sort of solid offer to you and uh, you're not waiting anymore. They're too slow. Knight of Pentacles and here you are putting a lot of time and energy and effort. Um, so too slow to give you what you want out of a relationship. So this is where the conversation comes in. So. This is what they're going to be giving you. And it's about time. All right, Capricorn, let us take a look at your career. All right, so money's been tight. Money has been tight. And it's like it's, it's not balanced. You're working for pennies. That's the way I'm seeing this. Money's been tight. You're working for pennies. Um, what's going to happen here is they're going to, you're going to end that suffering and this, this, whoever's paying you pennies is going to lose you. You really tried your best. You put your all into it. You're not getting the success that you want out of this specific situation. So now you're getting, there's frustration here. So I feel like you, you are going, um, at it in a smart way um, you may ask for a raise um, you may ask for you know some negotiations to take place um, going at but this is I feel like you're going to have leverage here I feel like there's going to be an offer that is coming to you before you go and ask um, wherever you're at um, for you know a better pay bottom line and I feel like they're not going to be able to give it to you but you have plan B all right and you have it right there in your pocket I do feel like for a lot of you there's going to be literally moving with plan B um, like movie you know the decision's going to be made. You know, this this place where you're at isn't going to be able to give you the money that you deserve, frankly. Um, so you're heading in a new direction. And for some of you, that may definitely involve moving homes. All right. But whatever the case may be, this decision to m move forward is going to bring stability to your home. So, like I said, the place where you are at, there was either a loss here or they're going to lose you. I feel like they're going to lose you because they're not going to be able to give you what you want. Again, you're going about it in a smart way because you've got something in your back pocket here. Okay. I feel like where you, where you are at, um, this, this boss type energy is kind of unmoving. 
So you are ex uh, accepting a more generous offer, lots of energy coming towards you, lots of nights coming towards you. And when you accept this offer, it's going to bring you balance in your life. Is this the right decision for you? It sure is. Um, so you're going to be meeting like like-minded people. It's going to be more balanced for you instead of you working for pennies. And could be a partnership forming here as well, but the money is, this is a huge opportunity and you're not going to pass it up. So this past situation is going to have their chance. They are going to lose you. And I do feel like they're going to regret it. Your victory is moving forward. Okay. Let us pull an oracle card for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? relationships i am tracked i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good so exactly um and these all or nothing conversations that you're getting ready to have in love and in career i feel like you're going to learn who is there to to uh serve your higher good to uplift you um so in regards to love you're going to have this conversation either let's move forward or i'm out the door um and i feel like things are most definitely going to go your way in regards to career you're going to give um this place a, a chance to negotiate pay with you and you're going to realize that it's not they're not moving they're going to lose you and you are a very valuable player here um so it's it's truly their loss and you're you're going where there's like the balance you're going where the money's good and there's peace of mind and balance and possible partnerships for some of you um and that is where you're there are people there that are going to serve your higher good there's growth here there's potential here there's more money here this is pension pennies worried about money you know that's no good you putting in a lot of effort and not getting a lot back for the effort that you put in. So you're taking all of that um, somewhere else in regards to career. So big conversations ahead for you um, in regards to love and career. I'm seeing that. But you're going where it's good. You're going where you are cared for. You are going where you are loved and uplifted and there is a chance for growth. All right, Capricorn, that is what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Rumble. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless.